Welcome to Landrianc on YouTube. So right next to this one you will see a video on the expansive universe, which is you. And I encourage you to get out of a static existence and create and expand as the, as the being that you are, the expansive being you are. But I want to talk about something because the reason why people don't go out and like do the things that I do is all fear based. Those are the limitations we place on ourselves. Now I've talked about this so many times, of course the message is continually the same thing, right? Is go after your dreams. And that's how I started everything. I wanted people to go after their dreams because I took that big step. I say that, but I've lived a whole life going after my dreams. I never, I, you know what, staying in the stagnant place where everybody else thought I should be was so much more painful than going out and trying stuff and potentially feeling, you know, I don't think there's anything as failure. So if you're, if, so that's the thinking in the head, right? I don't think there is failure. I'm just going, okay, ooh, this didn't work. What did I learn? Oh, and it takes me to something else. I think I shared with you, one of the businesses I launched was women's accessories. I was really into it. My girlfriend was a wholesaler, so I got everything from her, put it online, not one sale, not one. Is that failure? No. I realized I need to learn how to use the internet. I ended up taking these courses, and it completely changed my world. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could run multiple businesses online, and then I could be a writer for a living, and it wouldn't matter if my books sell or not, because I'm making all this money on the side. Is that, was that a failure? Nope. It took me to something pretty awesome. Now I can go back <laughs> and sell all those awesome accessories online, because I know how to do it. And I know how to do all kinds of other stuff, including promoting my books and movies. It's all good. It's all good. I want you to get the failure fear in your mind. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. Thinking. Thinking's not good. Yeah, you really don't need to think. Don't you just know stuff? Do you have to think, oh, I need to wa walk in the bathroom and pull the toothbrush out and put, you're not thinking, you're just doing it, right? That's the kind of, that's the kind of thinking you need to do. The rest is just blah, 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 made up stuff. Who is that anyways? Well, as you know, what I believe, I believe most of it is the collective consciousness and what is happening is if you have fears and beliefs of your own that coincide with those, you're connecting to it and it just magnifies it. Because you're on a lower vibration. If you have fears, you're on that low vibration and you're just connecting to all of it because we're one mind. I'm not blaming the other. So I, what I want to make clear is those thoughts in your head, don't blame the collective consciousness. They're still your thoughts. You're still in control of that. When you hear stuff and you get stuff in your head, you decide whether or not you listen to it or believe it or act on it or allow it to control you on any level. And all of a sudden, you're going to get in tune with the collective consciousness that's on the higher level. And the stuff that comes to you is going to be new ideas, opportunities, um, positive thoughts. You find yourself laughing. Stuff comes to you that's funny. It's just funny because you're on such a high vibration, happy level. It's awesome. So that's how the collective consciousness and you, all connected, affect one another. It's a big pool. You know, it's a big pool. So if you are focused on the fear and you're believing all the stuff in your head, you're acting on it, you're allowing it to control your feelings, you know, you're, you're putting the brakes on, man. You are putting the brakes on. So the thinking, the thinking is a product of belief systems. 
is a product of a low vibration. How do you get out of it? You don't fight it. You don't fight it. Hey, listen. I have stuff showing up in my head. You know, there's preconditioning. There's stuff that's never going to go away. It, it just, I see it. I actually catch it so quickly. It's like, what was that? Not true. Bye-bye. Just seriously, once in a while some random negative thought comes in and I just, I can't even tolerate it anymore. I don't even like it. I don't like to watch anything negative on television. It bothers me. It really, I can't resonate. I don't resonate with it anymore. So ask yourself, what are you resonating with? Are you, are you connecting to negative television shows, violence, uh, violent video games? Are you connecting to that? You're, you're on a lower vibration. You got, you got to, you got to stop it. And the best way to do it is to shut it down, shut it down. And you can do the same thing with your head. And I know this sounds more difficult, but you can shut it down. You watch it. The thought comes in the sentence. And then you just don't do anything with it. You just say, okay, oops, I recognize that. That's not me. That is not me. Me is perfect light and love and cannot connect with that at all. It's all the other programming, the mind, the brain, all this stuff that's spewing out all this other, and then creating the lower vibration, of course, too. Now, you may be on a super high vibration, and that stuff still may show up on occasion. It's not frequent, by the way. It's very rare. But if something comes in, what happens is you just go, oops, oops, there it is. Bye. It just gives it, you give it no attention. That's the fear that stops people. They're giving it attention. Don't fight it. Don't give it any kind of fuel. Don't allow it because you, you're like, when the thought comes in and you like focus on the thought, that's when the blood pressure goes up. <sighs> I'm worried about my bank account. I'm not going to make my Oh my God, it's, you know, a story. It's a story. Where are you right now? Right now. Let's talk about that. What's going on right now? You're watching a video. There's nothing else going on right now. That's it. Yep, nothing else going on. So I want you to realize that these thoughts and these things coming in can be overwhelming. They can be barriers to you doing all these awesome things because those are the beliefs, those are the fears, those are everybody that everybody has told you that the world believes that is, by the way, not going to be believing anymore. The limitations, the brakes are coming off. You're going to see a completely different world. People are not going to tolerate all these rules that we have placed on each other about what you should and shouldn't do in society, what you should and shouldn't be, what's cool, what's not. They're going to start respecting. We are going to start respecting one another for exactly what we are. The unique individuals that we came here to be. And anybody who picks on somebody else for being different, is more fearful than anybody. That's insecurity. That's fear saying, I'm really not good, but if I pick on that person, it elevates me. We're going to put the spotlight over there because it's easier to pick on somebody who looks different or acts different. That person's in much more fearful place than you are. So send light and love to them. Hope that they repair all of those negative thoughts, fears, belief systems. And then they won't look at everybody else as something negative and different. They'll just look at somebody as different. And that's it. There will be no other thoughts that go with that. Thinking. That's the ego. It's the ego. 
thinking that you're better than somebody else is the ego. We're all, we're all special. All of us. We all come here with absolute talents. Even if you're taking the back seat, let's say you're, you know, a caretaker or somebody, that's not a back seat at all. You're making a huge difference. Huge difference. It's what you're putting into the collective consciousness. It's how you're working on you. Work on you. I have a lot of people that are always, you know, they're, I want to give and do, I'm like, okay, have you worked on you? That's where it starts. If you don't have this right, what do you, you know? Hey, listen, every day, every moment, I'm constantly working on me. Because that's where it starts. That's what's going into the collective consciousness. And when those fears come in, you know, you're all affected by it. And I don't want them. So I give them no power. And you can do the same thing. Got to recognize it coming in. Got to recognize that thought. You don't have to analyze it. You don't have to analyze it. Now I have other videos where we actually do look at it, say where it's coming from, so you can understand the root of that. And that's usually your parents or grandparents and those, all those people before. And then when you look at it, you go, oh, okay, that's my mom talking. Because she didn't have a good childhood and she wanted security for me, so she didn't want me to go be an entrepreneur, you know. Once you know that, you go, okay, that's not me talking, that's somebody else's fears. There's a whole video on that, but when you get the fear, just, just don't put any, don't analyze everything. You know where they're coming from, and it's not you. It's not you. I'm giving you this video because people don't go after their dreams because they have a story in their head that tells them that it's not okay, that it's frightening, that something bad's going to come from it, that it's safer to stay in a place that's, you know, doesn't take as much effort to stay in mediocrity and unhappiness. It's easy to sit on the couch, but boy, phew, it's not a happy place. It's not a good place. Get off the couch. What are you going to do? What do you what have you wanted to do? You can go do it. There is nothing stopping you. I don't care what your situation is. You can make things work. On some level, you can make something work. And it will morph. The universe then works with you and starts to morph it into things that do make it all work for you. You know, if you want to do something and you say, well, I have family or whatever, things will start to come so that that thing you wanted to do works with having a family, works with being a responsible mom or dad or whatever. The universe will work with you. Don't worry about it. Have faith. Have faith. Shut it down. Give it no power. Open up the doors. Go create. Namaste.